Hi, my name is John Terrell. I'm an application engineer with QTE Manufacturing Solutions. In Mastercam 2022, we have a new auto intelligent linking of hole making tool paths. And what we're going to do here is uh, it's, it's a collision detection tool so to make sure that our holder is not going to violate the part and make sure that all of our clearances and stuff and retracts look fine. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll walk you through the process and uh, let you see for yourself. So the first thing we want to do here is pick our drilling tool path. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to pick this wall and hold down my control shift and what it will create the vectors in all of the 136 holes that we have, which are three. Then I'm going to come down to the bottom level here and I want to pick this smaller diameter hole and control shift and create those vectors on the smaller holes, which are the 89 diameters. At this point, all holes are selected that we're going to spot with our spot drill. So we'll go ahead and green check out. I want to come in, I'm going to pick, triple click on the part. And when I do that, that's going to go ahead and create an avoidance on here. We'll go ahead and pick our tool which is our quarter inch spot. Let's go ahead and our cut parameters, we're just gonna set that to a G81 cycle, to Alexis control set to three X, linking parameters. In our linking parameters, we're gonna go ahead and check mark automatic linking. What this does is sets our clearance to absolute retract and feed planes to incremental. So this takes care of that for the upper and lower level holes. The next thing we want to do is set how big of a chamfer we're going to put on these holes. So we're using a 250 tool. So I'm going to come in with a finished diameter. I'm going to right click and pick diameter. I want to pick the smaller one here. There we go. And we'll green check out. At that point, let's go ahead and we'll calculate the depth from top of line and holes, which if we check this, it'll be held from this surface and this surface. The next thing we want to do is let's display the collisions and master cam at this point, if you notice, it will set up, it says we have two holes that are going to be violating the part. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check for collisions and lo and behold, we have a, a tool holder violating this wall of this part. And over here, it shows you which two are violating and it tells you the holder is violating. So that's really, that's really nice to be able to see that. And then we just come over here to fix this. We just click on the tool holder, left click and just run it up. I'm just going to run it up high enough so you guys can see it where it clears, left click. And at this point, what we can do, we can click on the tool here, left click. And then what we can do is drag this tool to all the holes. I can put it there, 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 or walk it up here. Pretty nice to have that option as well. You can see, you can actually see the clearance. Everything looks good over here. So what I'm going to do now is I click on the tool, green check out. Everything looks fine. Let's generate the tool path. There's our tool path. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to step through back pod just to double check our our uh make sure that everything looks good step through and there you go this is new in 2022 master cam it's great for drilling and uh collision detection I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day.